right, but that's fine. Oh, there's a cat. So Back. luckily enough, we got a wee course guide that's got some history Aye, about this club. Course guide got some history, so founded in 1895 as a nine-hole track. Aye. Is that it? Aye, aye. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm just, I'm, I'm skim reading. Give me a chance. <laughs> At that time, there were fewer than 100 courses throughout Britain. The movement uh, to establish a course seems in part to have been local rivalry with Lam Lash, where a course had been established in 1889 in response to mainland visitors bringing their clubs and practicing in open fields on the village green. So Crazy. this is idiots from Glasgow probably coming down for their summer holidays and just bashing balls into fields. Hiking balls about, eh? Which we're doing today. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So oh. your legs to the I'm <laughs> dead. I think I could climb Everest after this. Climbing Everest would be easier. You wouldn't have to swing a golf club. Aye. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 he can't buy a birthday. What was that about shit on the holiday? <laughs> Hi. So, we're almost halfway through Waiting Bay, but 20 holes left to go. I've uh, been playing golf now for oh, roughly about 13 hours. Um, and I have to say, uh, although the fact I'm pretty knackered now, I'm exhausted, um, the shoes have held up really well. These are the kind of golf courses that really put your feet, you know, to the test. There's a lot of sloping lies, lots of undulations. You really put them to the test. Cam and I both slipped on these Flex XPs for the first time today. And comfort wise, I mean, just cannot knock them. We've got so much cushioning under our feet that Versa tracks out so and it's just working wonders for us um, you know I think had we done them in different shoes we might might start to be feeling it a wee bit more than we are just now um, so definitely we've got the right tools for the job today Right, challenge here. Keep it on the green. Yeah, I was going to say it's not nearest to the hole. It's no. Keep it on the green. Oh, it's just impossible, isn't it? I don't know. Do you think you could keep on? There's just no chance, no. is there? So, coming to a close on Waiting Bay. I won the match here relatively convincingly. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. I think you're it getting it. It was not difficult. Some tire golf swings. So, overall, uh, that's me won two golf courses, Cammy's won two, and we've halved two. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. That adds, that adds up yeah, to yeah. six. Yeah. Uh, and in the match overall, I am four up. Four up with 12 holes to go, so yeah. you'll need to mount a a swift comeback. Yeah, I feel like round here, a bit of experience maybe helped you along the way, but you played some, you're very good at the tricky shots around the greens, where the, the seven irons out, um, playing it around the undulations. Yeah. You had that You had that down to a tee, so that was really good to watch. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. I, it's interesting enough, M middle of the round I thought it was going to be a blowout. I thought yeah, it was yeah. just going to be nine, nine round, but... Um, no, nah, you managed to find a wee bit. Of, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, so it makes it interesting enough going, going down there. But again, great experience, learning curve, <laughs> total learning curve if you want to come out here and play golf, but you'll enjoy it. And what is, I mean, I think for me, Waiting Bay, some stunning views, real peace and quiet. You do feel like you're a world away. 
um, and you know, just that island, golf, field, quirky, yeah, yeah. good fun. Yeah, exactly. I think what I've learned is just forget what's in front of you, just play the holes, appreciate them for what they are. Yeah. And hope you hit a fairway. <laughs> yeah. Hope you right. or hit a green. All right. I think, to be fair, like, if you ever came back, your local knowledge, you would know shots uh, to hit, places not to go. I don't know. I need to work on my pitching. I'll come back once my <laughs> yeah. pitching's a bit shorter. Right. I think that's the thing, because generally here, you're looking at small greens. If you're, if you're missing them, you can be short-sided a lot of time. Quite bumpy, undulating. Yeah. You need to be, your short oh, game needs to be, needs to be tidy. Yeah, definitely. But, um, nah, man. Green another, yeah. another like six down. Yeah, I one think I'm to go. Be the happiest man alive. Yeah. <laughs> on the 12th team. Aye, it's here. Just... I'll give you that. I'm gonna be generous. I'll give you that. <laughs> I'm gonna take it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one to go. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> Best drive of the day. There you go. This has been an awesome day out, but you can probably see the swarm around us. Ah. I think that'll be good. Final golf course, Shiskin. The one I've played most, uh, probably my personal favourite. I think it's absolutely stunning. Pretty lengthy. Uh, I think you're gonna love it. Yeah, looks good. I mean, yeah. first impression. First opening hole. Oh. That links all over, isn't it? Yeah. Hitting like kind of like a two and what a now sort of Naddle Valley almost. Yeah. Aye. Right. Dunes, like, dunes on the right. Yeah. Beach down to the left. It's just. Aye. Right, it's just. Yeah. Too good. Too good. Past the start. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Okay, but it's fine. So. Oh, well done. This might be the course I shoot under par on. Straight edges. So. Undoubtedly. The only real downside of this trip has been the midges first thing in the morning and last thing at night. Even with midges spray it doesn't it doesn't really help. We had no wind this morning at Mackey, so we were eating alive. It's an absolute flat camp. I've never seen it at this camp here at Shiskin. And I must have played it like, I don't know, two dozen times. It's a complete flat cam. It's a mill pond out there. But the result has more midges. You can see there's just black clouds everywhere. And for those of you that have never experienced midges, honestly, it's the worst thing in the world. The worst thing in the world. They are pests of hell. Oh, God. But look at the bright side. Look at that light. That's just stunning. Oh, what a two. Top work from the boys today. They must be absolutely shattered because I know I am. Couldn't have done it without them. This has been an absolutely incredible day for me. Playing seven golf courses in one day. It's pretty special doing it in one of my favourite places in the world. Even more special and doing it. A group of work pals who, yeah, just made it that little bit extra special. Um, we couldn't have done this without the help of Footjoy. Just want to say a big thanks to them for partnering with us on this endeavour. This is a wee idea I've had in the back of my head for a long time and I've always wanted to do it so I'm just glad we can make it happen. I also want to say a big thanks to all the golf clubs. You know the hospitality uh, was absolutely top drawer today. I would expect nothing less. I mean 
coming to this island for so long that um, yeah, it's just the way they are here. So everyone was just brand new, really made this possible for us. And yeah, what an experience this is. What a brilliant day out. You've won this course fairly convincingly. You went on an early charge. Yeah, well, actually, I'll be honest. I thought I was going to be shaking your hand on the fourth or fifth hole. I think it was going. I think we've we've both like hit peaks and trough of tiredness. Yeah, yeah. I actually like, feel decent now. Aye, probably like, because I knew I had to play well. Made a made, made a birdie and spot early door. I know. Well, the fact that I've only got a one-up lead with two holes to play shows that were with it. Been fairly, Aye. fairly even throughout the day. Yeah. But no, it's been good, man. Really enjoyed it. No, an incredible experience. Um, I'd definitely recommend you try it. I'd just say it's not for the faint of heart. Like I wouldn't do it if you want to come over here for a relaxing holiday. Aye. Maybe, maybe do them all, but do them over the course of three or four days. Yeah, that's what I would say. Split them up. Ah. Oh. Oh, oh, it's getting late. I think the sprinklers have been on as well. Yeah. Right, down the last. The finishing line is in sight. The pubs are shutting, which is a great travesty, but we had the foresight to get some cans of tenants. I can't wait for one. Yeah. Imagine this comes down to the last. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm actually going to line a putt up. Yeah, I think you should. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, I did it. That was missing. Well done. Well done. One up. Aye, well done. Well played. Cheers, Cammy. Well that was well. brilliant. Oh, and it's over. Yes, thank God. Alright, let's get a beer. Let's get a beer. <laughs>